If you're looking for the best all-around fishing rod, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Ugly Stick Elite Spinning Rod. Ugly Stick Elite has easy to grip cork handles that that feel as good as the rubber ones. Your hands wouldn't tire even during long hours of fishing. And the cork handle, along with the enhanced guide positions, helps the rod to achieve the perfect balance. The rod comes in a variety of sizes, and thus it gives us a lot of options to choose from based on what we are comfortable with. The Ugly Stick Elite includes a soft fiberglass and graphite tip which besides making the pole more resilient to breakage, also provides a bit more sensitivity. That makes it perfect for lure fishing without ultimately endangering the stiffness through the rod, which nevertheless makes it a workable bait fishing pole. The Ugly Stick Elite includes Shakespeare's brand, new single-piece stainless steel Ugly Tough Guides, and unlike other sticks in this budget, they take a severe beating. Some anglers that use braided lines have experienced difficulty due to the grooves being cut within these guides, which may lead to heavy frame. However, we have used ours for a few years now, and have yet to see even a nick on some of these guides on our own rods. While we do not advocate braid to each angler, particularly a newcomer likely to tangle, even if you intend to fish using braided line, then it might be well worth considering upgrading to some other fishing pole. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Orvi S Clearwater Fly Rod Outfit. We have had several Orvis Clearwater combos through time, and the newest Clearwater Roman 4 was our favorite, cheap, all-purpose trout rod. The cork handle stays intact over time, and that's often where other cheap fishing rods fall fast. Frankly, if you want a trout pole, there's little need to look farther. But if you are after something much more lightweight and more specialized, then the Sagefly Fishing Foundation outfit is still really a worthy leap. Due to the sealed carbon and Stainless drag that almost never needs servicing. It will probably overtake Orvis Clearwater's popularity and position soon. Fly rods and reels have been characterized by the weight of their line that they cast, which efficiently connects to the size of fish they are intended to hook. The Clearwater Roman 4 9'5 weight is all about being as flexible as a kayak fishing fly pole gets. Also, the mid-flex makes it ideal for surface, dry and subsurface, wet fly fishing, and each of which loves soft and stiff flex, respectively. The number three position is held by Temple Fork Outfitters Fly Rod. The Temple Fork's Outfitters Fly Pole is a balanced, hardy, delicately tapered fly pole. Temple Fork's Outfitters is a combined comprising a fantasy group of fly fishing greats from creator Gary Loomis of G. Loomis and the Lefty Cray, Bob Klauser, also Flip Power, amongst many others. Casting a fly pole does tire out your arm more rapidly than most other kinds of fishing and a couple of ounces will produce a difference through the daytime. The Temple Forks Outfitters Fly Pole is a fairly strong pole about which we haven't heard any cases related to snapping or durability in general. A 9 feet 9 weight is the regular fly rod and reel weight for overall saltwater use. A 7 or 8 weight is famous for bonefish, even though a 10 to 12 weight is much more suitable if you are following tarpon, 10 pounds for smaller base, 12 for your 100 pounds plus array. The one thing you might see if you end up alternating between an outfit such as TFO Klauser Pole, a more expensive installation like Sage Salt HD Pole paired with a Tibra Everglades reel is a weight, which really does have a bearing on your ability to cast. The weight, it is not worth the price for the majority of anglers, newcomers, and experienced alike. Next at number 4 we have Tsunami Airwave Elite Surf Spin Fishing Rod. The Tsunami Airwave Elite was a new pole for us this year. But avid fishing buddies happened to swear by it for a couple of decades, and we were quick to learn why. We are also a massive fan of the Airwave Elite's diamond-textured vinyl grips. They can be a pleasant surprise on a comparatively economical pole. While most fishing rods come in a soft Eva foam or cork grip, both these materials get worn out fairly quickly as time passes. However, it is lightweight and compact enough for long hours of usage. Tsunami's Airwave Elite is a sturdy rod that may take a beating and has been made particularly for casting live baits. Despite being lightweight, it is sturdy, and the silicon carbide CC guides held in place with a robust titanium framework keep them from getting bent out of the area or broken in transit. 
But after two years of general wear and tear, the vinyl grips on the Airwave Elites we tested out this past weekend bore not even a scratch unlike most of the grips on our rods. We are still curious as to what might cause trouble, let alone snap one of these rods, when it is a surf rod you're after. Tsunami's Airwave Elite 11 for spinning pole will probably function most surf casting needs. It will get the job done nicely. However, one disadvantage we did feel was that not all Airwave Elite versions have a gimbal for much more safe storage in rod holders. The number 5 position is held by Tsunami Trophy's slow pitch jigging spinning rod. Here is a rod with which we have been replacing our older ugly stick and other aging rod fleet. It will not make you a better angler. However, the rod will live any cheap gear that stops working after a little trouble. Extremely lightweight and comfortable to hold, the fishing experience was quite pleasant with them. We have had been using these rods and have treated them harshly enough to understand that they can take a beating. Moreover, they are likely to outlive any ugly stick. Although this is our estimate predicted on a couple of years of usage, it is the go-to pole for bottom fishing, even though a stiffer rod is more useful. If you are not seeking to go mad, with a fishing pole but wish to do a little bit of everything, then you may stick with our rod choices above. However, if you are going to do a great deal of fishing, then this is the instrument for your job. Sea base, snapper striped base, cod, halibut, and fluke, when going deep sea bottom fishing, involve this form of equipment. The number six position is dominated by Ugly Stick GX2 spinning fishing rod. The Ugly Stick GX2 is a super versatile spinning rod that is suitable for all anglers. Whether you're a beginner or a veteran angler, this rod provides the right amount of power, sensitivity, and stiffness. It really can handle any type of fishing, from rivers and lakes to surf fishing for monster saltwater fish. With its comfortable grip design and lightweight, you can use the Ugly Stick GX2 all day with no problems. It's constructed from graphite and fiberglass for a durable, hard-wearing rod that will last. Plus, you get a 7-year warranty for ease of mind while you fish, because we all know that accidents can happen. Whether you're looking for your first spinning rod or you're after a backup rod on a budget, the Ugly Stick GX2 fits the bill. And for this price, you'll be wowed by its impressive performance. The GX2 excels on the water every single time. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Daewoo Exceller Spinning Rod. The Daewoo Exceller is a highly rated freshwater spinning rod. If you love to get out on rivers and lakes and throw delicate lures, this is the top fishing pole for you. This rod is made from high modulus carbon fiber with titanium oxide guides, ergonomic cork handle, and a Fuji reel seat. There's nothing quite like the Daewoo Exceller when it comes to fishing with extraordinary finesse. The unique tip action allows you to land your lures right on the mark. But don't be fooled, this rod packs enough power to get your bait out to longer distances, too. You can buy the day with Exceller in lengths from 7th to 10th, and it comes in at a very reasonable price. Without a doubt, this is one of the best. The number 8 position is held by Ugly Stick Tiger Elite Spinning Rod. If you are ready to splash out a bit more than for the Ugly Stick Elite, check out this beauty. The Tiger Elite fishing rods are streamlined and versatile, with fast action. It's constructed from a smart combination of e-glass and graphite, with a higher proportion of graphite in the blank. This translates to increased sensitivity, so you're always aware of what's going on and won't miss a single fish. The Tiger Elite is a fast action rod that you can use to target any type of fish, no matter where you are. It's super strong and sturdy enough to stand up to the wear and tear of fishing, so it should last you for years. You'll get many a fishing trip in with this indestructible rod. Now, onto the details. It's got lightweight EVA grips, one-piece stainless steel line guides, and stainless steel cushioned hoods for the real seat. Take your pick from one-piece or two-piece models. Handy is a travel rod ranging from medium light to medium heavy. We love the Ugly Stick Tiger Elite due to the amazing rod power, superior sensitivity, and long-distance casting ability. If you're looking for a hard-wearing rod that can go the distance and haul in big fish, you found the ideal candidate in the Tiger Elite. Next at number 9, we have Cast King Crix's Fishing Rod. Cast King's vision is to make fishing affordable and fun. Coming in at under $50, the Cast King Crixus is a fantastic starter rod, but it's not just for beginners. The Crixus performs exceptionally well out on the water and would be a great addition to any angler's fishing gear. You can fish for any type of fish in any environment with the Crixus, from freshwater rivers to the open sea. It's available in 20 different models ranging from lightweight to heavy, and lengths from 5 to 7.6. 
Cast King makes it easy to find the right rod for you. So, what's so good about the Crixus? Well, you get excellent componentry, a comfortable anti-slip handle, and a magical combination of sensitivity and rod power. The stainless steel line guides are high quality and suitable for all types of line, from monofilament to braided line. There's an EVA fighting butt for extra control when you're battling those trophy-sized fish. The comfortable super polymer handles raise the bar when it comes to spin rods. Pair this rod with any spinning reel, and the setup balances out beautifully. Plus, this rod just looks cool. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Synchroa Avid X Spin Rod. These high-end spinning rods from Synchroa don't come cheap. But if you've got a bit more cash to splash, it's well worth considering the Avid X, one of the best spinning rods money can buy. The Synchroa Avid X comes in a range of models from light medium to medium heavy and in lengths from 6 to 7. As you'd expect, the components are all of the best quality. From the real seats with twist, lock foregrip, and gun smoke hoods to the sturdy aluminum oxide guides, no detail has been overlooked. The Synchroa company is passionate about fishing, and this shows in their products. The Avid X rods are no exception. The SC Roman 3 graphite blank is made with IPC tooling technology for an outstanding result, making it even lighter and more sensitive than before. You really can feel every rock and pebble and fish under the water. These rods have a smooth action, and the medium power provides enough strength to cover longer distances. The Avid X won't let you down thanks to its rugged build. It's sealed with a flex coat finish for even more durability and corrosion resistance. For serious anglers, the Avid X is the perfect spinning rod for every fishing trip. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.